With this video, I'm presenting a very basic concept in music, internal rhythm, or microbeats. I'm using a metronome to help show how this works. This is a software metronome called the Ultimate Metronome. There's more about this on my website, metronometips.com. I have this metronome set to 80 clicks per minute. That's what I would call an easy walking speed. Right here you will see it says Andante. That's a musical indication, an Italian word meaning walking. I have this set for two clicks per measure, two beats per measure. A measure is simply a measurement of musical rhythm. It's a unit of measuring musical rhythm, also called a bar from the way it appears in standard music notation, bound by two lines on the staff. This bar or measure usually groups two, three, or four beats together, sometimes more than four and sometimes only one beat, but usually two, three, or four. Right now we're keeping it simple and useful, for, especially for beginning fiddlers, especially those who have never used a metronome. You can hear an emphasis on the first beat. It's a little bit stronger than the second beat. You can even see these lights change. First beat, second beat, first beat, second beat, first beat, second beat. To help you keep track of where you are in the measure or in the bar. If I were to play my violin at this speed to match the sound, I would pull the bow for a down bow on the first beat and push the bow for an up bow on the second beat. Just like that. A beginning fiddler or violinist should be able to do this pretty soon after starting to learn how to play. That is to say, match a metronome speed at this easy tempo. It's not hard and the speed is not fast, but it does take a little practice. It gets more interesting with the next move. We will play two bow strokes per beat, a down bow and an up bow for each and every beat. Now we are using internal rhythm or microbeats. This is commonly referred to as the subdivision of the beat. You'll hear me talking about internal rhythm, microbeats, subdivision of the beat. They're all describing the same thing. I don't believe I made up the term internal rhythm, and certainly subdivision of the beat has been around a long time. But I confess I might have made up the word microbeats. I haven't seen it anywhere else. A word was needed for this, and I simply couldn't find one on the shelf. Our internal rhythm for this subdivision of the beat is two microbeats per beat. There is a standard way of teaching this subject that I don't use. I don't use it in teaching, and I don't use it in playing. If you've had some musical education, you know what I'm talking about. It sounds dorky and awkward, and there's a better way. What I'm about to show you here is my way of counting internal rhythm. I've used it for decades. It served me in string quartet, symphony orchestra, opera, musical theater, string band, bluegrass, everywhere. It not, might be a little unconventional, and yet it's so intuitive and logical that beginners easily pick it up in one lesson. Just this past season, I used this method to explain a critical rhythm problem that was having happening with a rehearsal with a chorus and a conductor. I explained it to the conductor, who was a very well-educated musician. She immediately understood my point. It's so intuitive that even an education doesn't stand in the way of your understanding it. This way that I'm about to demonstrate is, in my opinion, the best, simplest, and most intuitive way to count internal rhythm or subdivision of the beat. Let's get started. When I am playing two bows per beat, I'm subdividing the beat into two microbeats. 
Again, this is the beat. This is how I play. And this is how I count. One, two, 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 one, two. Like that. If you followed this far and you already have a musical education, you might object. Wait a minute. You're saying one, two on the second beat. Shouldn't you be saying two, two? One, two, two, two. One, two, two, two. And I say, no, no, thank you very much. I have a good reason for not following that convention. Here it is. When you shift your attention from the beat to the microbeats of the internal rhythm, you can safely ignore the position of the beat in the measuring unit. It becomes irrelevant in this altered context. You drill down, you solve a problem with the microbeats, and then you can come back up to where the beat is in the bar and ignore the microbeats. You follow me? It's just irrelevant. Going on, we have two more moves to make with this discussion of internal rhythm. One, we can subdivide the beat into three microbeats, and two, we subdivide the beat into four microbeats. Dealing with three microbeats per beat. Here's the beat. Here's the subdivision of three. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. If I bow this, it sounds like this. Do you hear the rolling quality of this rhythm? It has a tendency to roll along. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three as compared to counting two. Again, here's two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And here's three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The microbeat rhythm of two marches along but the microbeat rhythm of three rolls along. When I first began teaching this, I used to say that two and three were the only subdivisions of the beat you had to deal with. Math was on my side, but real world practice did not agree. It's true that the subdivision of four can be expressed as a simple division of two into two parts each. Two times two is four, I get that. The thing is, in my professional experience, I find myself subdividing the beat into four much more often than into two. This is true in fiddling. This is true in classical music. The subdivision of the beat into four microbeats is one you need to master, both in fiddling and the violin. Again, here's the beat. Now the four microbeats. One two three four. 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 And bowed. Here's an example from fiddling, by the way. Blackberry blossom. You can hear very clearly that the tune Blackberry Blossom subdivides into four microbeats per beat. Now here's the icing on the cake. Realize this. Hoedowns and reels use the subdivision of four microbeats, just like Blackberry Blossom. Jigs use the subdivision of three microbeats. They roll right along. Whereas waltzes typically use a subdivision of two microbeats. The bigger metrical division of three that waltzes have usually moves fast enough so that the subdivision of two is appropriate. I hope this has been clear enough to get started with this concept. It is simple, and yet it's hard to do at first. Be open to it. It's foundational to understanding musical rhythm.